we're not saying get rid of it completely. What we're saying is get rid of any use of it over 24 hours at a time because that's not appropriate for young people. The Manitoba Advocate for Children and Youth releasing a special report on Friday renewing calls to the Manitoba government to reduce segregation amongst youth in custody and to shift the way the youth justice system operates. We're presenting the data that show very clearly that a big proportion of young people who are caught up in the justice system and who find themselves in custody are also entering that system with trauma, with mental health, with cognitive disabilities. And so our response to them, or the department's response to them, has to be tailored to those needs that they come into the custody uh, facility carrying. Data from Macy shows that 74% of youth in custody identified as male, 94% as Indigenous, and 63% had known mental health concerns. A report from Macy to Manitoba Justice in 2019 did result in a decline in prolonged solitary confinement, but those numbers rising once again. We saw that 7% of uh, segregation incidents were lasting for longer than 15 days. Um, after our report came out, the department brought that number down to just over 1% of all incidents. But now we're back up to 5% of incidents that are lasting longer than, uh, than 15 days, which is a significant concern. Justice Minister Cameron Friesen says Manitoba Justice had made significant progress towards meeting the recommendations made by Macy, but the pandemic presented a number of challenges to correctional facilities, including requiring 14-day isolation for youth entering the facility. Macy recognized this struggle in a conference this morning. A statement from the minister says in part, our youth correctional facilities have fully eliminated the use of pepper spray and have achieved a significant decline in the use of observation in youth correctional facilities. Additionally, we continue to strive towards better outcomes for Manitoba youth through strengthening our cultural supports and trauma-informed mental health resources and are encouraged by the reports of youth who are connecting with the elders and knowledge keepers. A statement from NDP Justice Critic Nahani Fontaine reads, in part, it's shocking to read in the support that young people are still being subjected to solitary confinement for multiple days in a row and it's crucial the justice minister put supports in place so that this traumatic practice can end and youth can get the mental health care they need. Macy says Manitoba Justice has been fully compliant with ending pepper spray use unless someone's life is at risk, stating the method was last used once in June of 2019. But there are still five recommendations from the 2019 report that need compliance, and that includes prohibiting segregation over 24 consecutive hours and creating a standalone medical facility for youth in custody led and run by mental health professionals. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.